Okay, guys, I thought I'd grab the camera because something exciting is about ready to happen. Dwight Howard's coming over my shop. My daughter just arranged it all. He's on his way down. He's actually bringing his son. It's Valentine's Day. I'm pretty dang excited because you know what? I know he loves snakes, and so I'm gonna. We're gonna see what we can pull out and show him. I just hope. I hope he lets me film, but we'll figure it out. Let's go. Let's do it. Who's this, Dwight? Dwight? Dwight's visiting us. Hey y'all. <laughs> with the snake man himself, baby. Man, he's gonna teach me how to play with this round little ball and get rich. Not. Nah, I think old. I have the wrong genetics. <laughs> We're having a good time because you know why? We have a common thread here. It's called snakes. Snakes. He absolutely digs reptiles, and uh, some of you might even that don't watch basketball, which is not very many people of America, baby V. <laughs> One person. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, they uh, uh, he was on a TV show called Tanked. And uh, that's when I actually became more aware of him. I was almost on the show with him, but I wanted to be paid. <laughs> anyway, uh, thought we'd make a quick video. What do you guys think? Is Which is your favorite snake on us? Which, which is your one? favorite one? This one right here that I'm holding. Ah! This is my favorite he one. Said, he yeah. said he liked blue, so we, I, got sli I got that kind of like... This actually was a little bit blue when it was young. But it's not so much anymore, it's, but I've got, we've got another one that's pretty cool too. We're going to have to pull out. You ready for a primeval workout? Yes, I am. Okay. <laughs> Hold up, Daddy's going to work out. You got to watch, Daddy, work out. You can come here with me, Trey. Let's stand on the dirt. <laughs> this is literally a kid around and call it a primeval workout. So we're going to put it over the top of your shoulder. Woo, woo. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> My shoulder's ready for that. <laughs> so go ahead and... I don't know how to get the quicker if you can get right here. Where you want me to go? We gotta go like, like literally. The idea is about from right here, we gotta get that over your shoulder. Oh my god. god. Right here. Ooh. Not that far back, right here. So right here? Oh, right. Right where my arm is. Lift it up right over your shoulders. Yeah. Dog it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no. Hey, come here. You gotta, you gotta hold this. Hey, <laughs> come on, for real. What do you think, huh? Oh you my God. You know, dog, you know I better not there. break them for tomorrow. Woo! Try I might get a bill I can't afford. That's right. Come back over here, buddy. Woo! Doggy. <laughs> How much does this thing weigh? Uh, I think right at 300. Two, about 260. Oh. 240. So this how much I weigh? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh. It's heavier than it looks, huh? It like a <laughs> oh. Hey, Tim. Yeah. Want to help me try to get her back where she's at the right ratio? Oh. So sneak off ground. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. What do you guys think? Is this cool or what? Yo. Is this the biggest snake? It's the biggest snake in the history of snakes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> where, where? If, if you ever want to see, if you ever see these in the wild, run. I would tell you, oh. run! <laughs> Don't look back! <laughs> oh. And call him, cause these things is a good workout. She is heavy. Okay, what's behind me? Here? Hold up! <laughs> you got a little put him down. <laughs> you got some squats in you? Woo. <laughs> Come here. She's pretty awesome. This is Juliet. And uh, Juliet was one I raised kind of as a little bit of a favorite. She's really a beautiful snake. Woo! Yeah. Eventually when I named her, just to let you know how much I like her, my daughter, my middle daughter's name's Juliet. Woo! Hey, now I can see how I've worked out with Dwight. <laughs> yeah, we got into a fight with one of these. <laughs> Sometimes I've had great big weightlifter guys come in, more so when I was in my prime. They'd say, I want to hold the biggest snake you got. I go, you can't, you're not strong enough. He looked at me, he goes, I've seen you do it a bunch of times. I go, okay, let me go get it. <laughs> Hit the ground like a rock. I'm so strong. You are strong, but not this strong. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> and this the biggest one? No. That one, no, no exaggeration. That one's at least at least 80 pounds bigger than this. Jesus Christ! That that's the one in the back right there. Right? Yeah. So you Just go. Huh? I don't want to hold her. <laughs> she will make you never want to talk to another woman again. 
She is a mean girl. It, now, which one you had in the video was like all white and it kept doing like it's, this? It's in the other it's in the other oh, room, okay. but I don't yeah. think you want to hold that one. Are you right. <laughs> hey, just because these guys make all that money throwing around a little ball doesn't mean they aren't pretty smart. <laughs> I'm smart. See, I wasn't like gifted with that little ball thing, so I can't, I, you know, I just do this for a living, so I had to do it. <laughs> I love snakes. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't said that one time, but boy, you sure said it a lot of times since he pulled this one out. Beautiful, right? Is that cool or what? No, that's here, So here's, oh, here. Trey. What did I just say? Okay, the only reason, to be honest, none of these snakes are mean, but you have to respect them as if they are because it could be dangerous otherwise. We always want to be careful of big snakes and little kids. Never had a problem, never plan on having a problem. But a little kid getting bit would never be a fun day. And we're going to keep it that way. Dwight, ah, he can handle it. <laughs> so this is, a, this is a lavender. And what do you got? I have a purple albino. A purple albino. So he has this snake right here, with, but with purple. Except this one's a sunfire, and his is a, you're just, just a purple, right? Absolutely beautiful snake. Oh, excuse me. Very beautiful. Really, what is, uh, what's your favorite retake you have? My favorite retic is a purple. Ah, so favorite is a purple. Yes. That's cool. And now this snake here is actually full of eggs, so we're not going to pick her up. You can actually see all the eggs in her. Right here. And this is the first Sunfire Lavender ever made in the world. And uh, Tim, Tim, of course, has uh, been working here for 15 years, even though I thought it was only 12 or 13 a minute ago, but he set me straight. And this is a snake he produced. and. And uh, we've been working, using her to make new stuff all the time. <coughs> oh, 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 look at that. He, he dropped out his toys. Yeah, she did. <laughs> oh, my car. <laughs> nine years old. So she's nine. So how many years you've been collecting snakes? Eight years. Eight years. So this was born before Dwight was born into the lichen reptiles. <laughs> and she is. So, so I just learned something today. You guys probably already know. The year, the first year out of out of college, you were the number no, one first pick. first year out of high school, I didn't go to college. <laughs> first year out of high school, number one draft pick. Whoa, that's crazy. Yeah, time flies. Time flies when you're having fun. It does. Jeez, I, so what's your favorite thing about basketball? Everything? Everything. Traveling, seeing the world, playing in every arena. Being on the plane all the time, <laughs> standing in the nicest hotels in America. It's pretty nice. That's pretty pretty cool. Having small beds and hitting our heads in the showers. Really <laughs> hitting the heads in the showers. Yeah. You are tall. How tall are you? I am six eleven. Six eleven. But it has nothing to. These snakes oh. are like twenty five feet. <laughs> That's still pretty impressive. I actually could say you're the tallest person I've ever been around. I knew he was tall, but I didn't think he was. I did 6'11". Woo! I have a pair of twins that were 7'4". <laughs> I'm a midget compared to the snakes. <laughs> what is the tallest the tallest guys in there? The tallest guy in the NBA, he was 7'7". Seven seven. I think his name was George Mirasan. There's one guy named... So you, you're it? No, I'm nowhere near. It's a lot of guys way oh. taller than me. Seven foot. Yes, it's for, for my position. This guy said a tall man. Well, I'm kind of the shortest in my position. Really? You're seven. I'm just one of the strongest. <laughs> hey, but he's not bragging, guys. He has I'm the. I'm not bragging. He has the proof. <laughs> I thought I was strong until I picked up one of these things. <laughs> it's funny because one time I at one, you know, just do you remember that we had we had this live shoot and I had a big tiger and she was he was about. 275 pounds and you see how the snakes crawling up on me well this one had well, this was on my shoulders and it crawled all the way up on my body and it was live on, and I was sitting there and all I kept thinking was if I even move one inch I'm hitting the ground because <laughs> I was gonna just collapse and I'll tell you it's it's a lot of weight even this snake here this snake's probably about what 180 no way yeah they gotta be more than 180 yeah it's at least 180 and uh, you know I mean it's funny that I could do it because I'm just an old fat guy, but the funny part is you kind of get used to the weight and you learn how the balance and all that is. Come on, girl, don't bend your back. You're stressing me out. Oh, you just get used to it. Kind of like, uh, how do you how do you get a, a, a basket? Well, oh, that's a, different. I was going to make a joke, but I ain't going <laughs> to. You can make jokes. I love jokes. <laughs> 
I don't know much about ball, but somebody somebody said that you're like the best player, but free throws? Oh, no. <laughs> free throws. Everybody has, everybody has a couple flaws. In hey, this guy doesn't have many. <laughs> That's okay. That doesn't matter. Look at Shaq. Look what he did. Yeah. Uh, what's that? That's what that's to be but compared man. to Shaq is the end of story, end of, okay. and that's the first thing they said about you. They compared you to him to me. Oh yeah, that's my that's guy. <laughs> he we seems actually, like a pretty cool dude. We actually worked together. Oh really? We the same age. Yeah. Oh wow, that's pretty yeah. awesome. And uh, well, shoot, anything else you want to see? How man. about you, Trey? Are you ready to feed some more animals? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna check out some little baby snakes. Dwight, one of Dwight's favorite snakes, also another one he likes, the anacondas. So I figured we'd show him some anacondas over here. So we got, so right here's a bunch of yellow anacondas. Check this out. So just give a little support. I, it's never bit me, but I mean, anything's possible and not the end of the world, I guess, right? He's going, what do you mean, man? I play basketball. So, so this here is a green anaconda. And we had a big snake out, but to be honest, anacondas get a lot bigger than that one we just had out. They're, they're considered the heaviest snake in the world. And this one's a young one. We got. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna maybe watch this in a little bit for him. <laughs> He's oh, already. Yeah, you've been, already had one shower. Yeah, I've been. I've had a golden shower today. I don't want any more. <laughs> <laughs> You're not that kind of guy. Oh! Man, what are you saying? Oh, Whoa! Oh my God! Oh my goodness! <laughs> hey, are are you guys gonna share with a friend now? Oh my God! <laughs> He just got R. Kelly'd. <laughs> <laughs> I just got a... <laughs> the golden shower. Oh, wow. Never. I've never seen that. Good, like thing, that. good thing it's Valentine's Day or I'd be freaking oh out. Oh, my God. We're getting a lot of love from these snakes today. If you love reptiles, go in the comment section below. And name your favorite reptile moment. That was one of them right there. Absolutely. <laughs> the golden shower. <laughs> How many reptiles have ever showered you with their love? Especially on Valentine's Day. Loving the, living the dream. Loving the dream. Uh, anyway, it's funny. I took it away from him because he already got shot in the back of his leg and I didn't want him to get nailed. Now you saw it. It is live. So you check these out. These are a bunch of big yellow anacondas. The big female is actually grabbing. You can see the males laying on top of them. Check it out, Neil. Come on over here. So the males are usually smaller than the females. Uh, you know, that's kind of a little bit of a tale, mm. to be completely honest. But typically, the males are so busy chasing the girls that they won't eat as much. Okay. But if in captivity, if they're both fed a lot, they usually they, grow the okay. same. Uh, anacondas, I'm not 100% sure of that, to be honest. But a lot of snakes, that's the way it works. So <clears throat> these are all pretty mellow, but they all probably want, want to eat. So I'm going to be a little bit careful. She's about to shed. Yeah, that's a, that's actually, that's the male right there's the male. This one right here's the male, and then this is a girl, and then, then the other the other ones are girls, and uh, they're beautiful. This is a, this is a yellow anaconda. This is a green anaconda. The yellow anacondas don't get gigantic. They're kind mm -hmm. of a dwarf ana, dwarf anaconda technically. Okay, it's the green ones. They yeah, okay. absolutely. So. <clears throat> Tim, yeah. you want to put this anaconda away before he gives it, gives us another shower? Yeah, well, we, <laughs> we're full of love today. <laughs> we're full of love. Oh, oh look at that. that's a little bit more love than I was looking yeah, for. Trey, you see that? <laughs> you saw that? That's pretty crazy, right? That's that was pretty funny. funny. That was. <laughs> And then she just kept going too. Oh yeah! Like she stopped. Let me like, tell you guys. Hold up! I'm you haven't smelled anything till you smelt yeah, musk. Third one it does not smell good. <laughs> and it won't go away. My wife will be looking at me funny tonight. <laughs> like, what was you doing? Honey? <laughs> oh boy! Oh, the turtle and the alligator live together? Yeah. Yeah. They want you. I I guarantee you right it now smells, you're very happy this doesn't have surround smell. <laughs> Because I don't know which would be worse, my B.O. from holding these big snakes, or that snake that just must me. It didn't just pee, it must. So, we got here is a giant snapping turtle. He's going to jump in the water. Well, look at that, look at that, look at that. Yeah, hey, you too. We're sliding to in, sliding in. Oh, I'm about to oh. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? So these are American alligators, yeah, obviously. I don't like alligators. <laughs> you, don't you don't like, like alligators? alligators? Why not? 
Because they only eat people. They eat people? <laughs> this is this one here? Is, is His name is Darth Gator? Darth Gator. Yeah. Actually, he was named... What was his name? We, he was actually named by our Facebook fans. And this one is... Uh, uh, oh, goodness. Uh, it's, the, it's the same name as him. I love my... I'm so Three. slow. With Gomer. I am your father. Yeah, Gomer. This is Gomer, and the one over there is Pyle. And then, of course, that's Big Lou, the big snapping turtle. I am your father. <laughs> I am your father. <laughs> no, I'll let you do it. You're better at me than that. He's actually coming over here. Let's see if we can... Uh... Which one, Abby? Yeah. Are we doing yeah, this? Yeah, you'd like a handout, wouldn't you? Oh. Wouldn't you like a handout? Come on, back up, back Great. up, back up, back up. Oh, he's coming too. <laughs> You guys, are, these guys are, these guys are looking for handout for Don't sure. Don't put your hand in there. Th yeah, see, this yeah. here is actually dangerous. Wow. These guys, these. Because they would take your hand off. Come on, back up. They, the good thing is they're, they're still gators and they're really dangerous and they can make a mistake. But the good news is, is they do know I don't have my red tools, but they're hoping this is a piece of chicken and they might want to try it and we're not going to let them. Yep. You see the white, huh? Hey, 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 back in, back in, come on. Back up, back up, back up. Well, I was going to see if I could pull the snapping turtle up this no, way, no, but now no, the snapping no, turtle's backed no, up to get out of the way of the alligators. Come on. Come on, Darth. It. You guys are ready to eat, huh? Wait, wait. I wish I had some chicken. Wish I had some chicken, Darth. Yeah, uh-huh. No chicken for him. No fingers for him either, so I'm going to shut the glass while we're ahead. Yeah. Close it. I want you to close it. He's going to close it? Okay, I got, I got something I already showed. Showed but we want to show the YouTube people. Oh man, wet hands is almost impossible. So I want to show. I want to show everybody on YouTube. Check out these babies that just came out. Look at the babies. Literally just hatched. Don't touch me. What? Little babies can be snappy sometimes, but I did notice that these ones were pretty mellow. You can just look at. Slimy hands. If we're gonna get dirty today, we might as well get real dirty. <laughs> so this is this is this this is one coming right out of the egg. If you guys follow us, you know all about these. So I don't have time to tell everybody in the whole world 300 times how to do this. But if you want to watch some interesting videos about snakes action, you know where. Go get them. Don't forget to click that bell either. <laughs> So, <laughs> Subscribe. So this is actually right whoa. Here. This is actually uh, the. We're kind of excited because this is this one is this snake actually turned out to be a. We have an anthrax sunfire, which is all about genes, and it ended up to be head albino, which was only a, had a possibility of 50 percent. And so when we were able to breed it and actually produce albinos with it, we were really happy because it changed the whole game genetically and time wise. On, on how many years forward it'll take to get to all the different things that we're trying to dream up. So we got a little bit of a go past go card. <laughs> was their mom and dad pretty cool? Uh, yeah. Because these ones is really... To be honest, we find that the more generations that they're captive born, the tamer they are. Just like your dog and cat. I mean, if you go catch a coyote, good luck with that, guys. Good luck. <laughs> yeah, you're going to have a handful. And uh, But the good news is if you... If you, more, than, more than likely, one of your dogs that you have as a pet has come from a line, a long line of dogs, and it's awesome. And you know they're bred for that, of course, unless they're bred for fighting. So you can breed snakes the same way, different genetics. I've never bred a snake for fighting, but we usually try to keep, breed the tame ones to get better and better dispositions. Because in the long run, we really just want to have cool pets that do well and like people and like us, and we like them, and we're all having a good time. So yeah, these are pretty cool. I like these. So what is your favorite kind of snake? My favorite snake is the indigo snake. Indigo. I knew he was going to say that. They're really beautiful. <laughs> they are. They're yeah. absolutely gorgeous. They're just such a beautiful snake. It's incredible. You would put that under there. I knew he was going to. <laughs> <laughs> Trey's making it happen down there. He's, he's, making he's it having happen. a time. Of, he's having a time of his life. Hopefully you're having a good time. I am too. having a great time. <laughs> Take care, guys. Hope you're enjoying it. See you later. Yep. Take care, and we're going to be doing a lot of fun stuff. And make sure you come, make sure that you get a chance to click that bell below. Come here, what so, you what do you think, buddy? man? Yeah, I just... think you're taking over by snakes.
Where are you going, buddy? <laughs> Come they back. Think, they think you're a tree. I'm not. A, I ain't Look, a they're tree. all they're all leaving me. They're <laughs> migrating to the to you. <laughs> oh, one is in my pocket. <laughs> hey, I know how many of these I got. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> anyway, this is living the dream, guys. Reality style. <laughs> Which is your favorite one out of this group? All of them. All of them. This guy's been hanging around me too long. <laughs> but everybody asks me what's my favorite, I always tell them, I don't know if I have a favorite. These guys are crazy. I love it though. Look at this. This one went right through his pocket. <laughs> yeah. He wants to go home with me. <laughs> Pretty funny.